Good morning, everybody. Happy mailbag to you. Uh, as you can see from the time on the screen, we're running just a little bit behind, not very much. Uh, I guess it's five minutes after the hour, six minutes after. And uh, we're just getting started. I've just only got a couple more things to bring in, and we'll go right into mailbag. So it won't take long. Give me just one second. Here I am. Get this beeper, everybody. You guys gonna come back in here? Hi, hi, beeper. Somehow I guess that you'd be the first one to turn up. See the others in there though, looking at me. All right, camera angles are good. Hey, let's uh, let's do our usual thing with the jingle here, and then I will tell everybody what's going on. Welcome to Mailbag. Um, it is April 4th, and I am way out of sorts at the moment. Uh, so you're going to have to forgive me if today's mailbag goes a little bit oddly. It's already started late, so that's a first. Um, and speaking of firsts, our new mom cat, Gabby, uh, had her four kittens last night. She had four kittens. Uh, that was last night. It was quite unexpected. Uh, so unexpected that DJ and I missed it, just like I think most of you probably missed it. Uh, I know there were a few people that were watching because those people were desperately trying to wake DJ and I up and let us know. But that didn't happen. Uh, we woke up, came out, found four kittens, and that was that. Okay, okay, good. Loganberry, you should go. She was friendly, but she told you to go away, and you should go away for now. She said she was friendly. He's probably going to come right back. There's not much you can do about that. Um, and she's probably going to come right back, I hope, because I just opened these new treats for her. Uh, anyway, yeah, so Gabby, our new mom cat, had her four kittens last night. You can see them in the camera right up there on this recording. Um, they, uh, I think her first kitten arrived around 2.30, and I haven't, I haven't carefully reviewed the footage, but I think the last kitten arrived around 6 a.m., and if you're listening to me live, it's not too late to go back and try to watch it on the on this regular Kitten Academy live stream, this stream. Um, you can still rewind and go back to 2.30 in the morning, uh, but there's not going to be a lot to see. Uh, she delivered her kittens um, in the beanbag chair, which is very far from any of the cameras in the room, and while it was on camera, you just can't see a thing. Uh, so uh, that happened, though, and uh, very exciting. Her four kittens are really cute, and we're going to get to know them really soon. DJ already has named one of them. I'm not going to share anything yet because she's not ready to announce the names yet, but I think she's working on the other three. Um, we got initial weights. I examined them all a little bit. They all seem, the four of them seem very healthy. Uh, so super excited about that. Um, and that's, that's all I've got for news. I mean, what else is there to talk about? So... Uh, we will go right into the mailbag, and, and again, uh, you're just going to have to forgive me if I am a, still a little out of sorts. I mean, waking up to that this morning was shocking. It's the first time that we've had a mom cat deliver without us being there ready for it um, since our very first mom cat ever. Hazel was that way. We woke up in the morning, there were kittens, and here we are again four years later. Um, I think it's been four years. That was 2016. And it was April 20th, or 19th or 20th, 
of 2016. So it's been almost exactly four years. Anyway, uh, with Hazel, we woke up, there were kittens. We were super surprised. And that's when we started the live stream. Now with Gabby, um, we woke up, there were kittens. We were super surprised. And I'm still trying to uh, sort of come to grips with the events in the morning. It's stunning. Uh, so I don't mind saying I'm, I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit stunned, a little bit out of sorts, but super happy. It's all good. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can say about that. So let's dive into some mail here. Uh, what do we got? We have a couple of postcards this morning. I'm going to start with this one, which is going to be really tricky. So we're starting with the hardest thing first. Uh, we have a postcard here, a photo of photos of Roma, it says. Now, the reason I say this is tricky, I guess you guys can see this. I'll just cover up the person's last name where they signed it. It didn't quite make it to us uh, as intact as, as we might have liked. So this is going to be a challenge, but I think I can read it. It says, thanks for your channel. Love your podcasts, as does my torty girl. A joy to see your fosters grow up and find, um, find friends. Oh, I see. Uh, find forever homes. All my love to them. Good meowing, Jean. Jean, thank you so much. This is really cute. I especially love the stamp that you've used. It's a USA stamp that has like this really fancy lion head um, that is like it's wearing jewelry and stuff. I know you guys can't see that, but that stamp is so cool. I'm going to take a picture of it for the people on the chat because that is really, really cool. It says Lunar New Year Forever USA. So it's a United States stamp. Um, but uh, wow, it's really cool. I'm just going to post that right over there. There we go. Okay. Hi. Hi. Hi, Belle. Hi. You were good with Loganberry just now. That was very good. You, you sniffed him. You were respectful. You didn't get mad, but you told him to back off. I believe he did. And everybody was happy. So that was a great interaction, Belle. That's the first time that she's been so direct, uh, had such a direct interaction with any of the faculty. So I'm very happy to see that. Okay, here we have one that says the Victoria and Alfred waterfront in Cape Town, South Africa. Wow, that is a very interesting looking place because you've got mountains and you've got water. Um, I guess I don't know too much about that area, but uh, I didn't realize that, that you had mountains right there on the, uh, the shore. I mean, that's not the shore in the picture, but uh, I think Cape Town's right on the shoreline. Anyway, I don't know. Uh, it says, Dear Mr. A and DJ and the cats and kittens, hello from Woodstock, Ontario, Canada. We watch your mailbag every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. sitting on the couch together with our two cats, Muggins and Tiny. Sometimes we fall asleep during mailbag because your voice is very calming. We remembered that you asked your followers what you should talk about on your morning check-ins. Well, we think you should read a few happy cat and kitten storybooks while we watch kittens play. It is better than the real world news. Just a suggestion. Have you visited Cape Town? Take care, Maxine, Abby, and Deb. Uh, so first off, I have obviously never visited Cape Town. Um, I, as an American, hardly know where it is. Uh, but <laughs> um, it looks really uh, the, I mean, it's just the one picture, but it's, it seems like it's got a lot more going on than I would have just imagined from its location on the map. Uh, also, uh, reading a storybook on the air uh, to the kittens sounds like such a great idea and is an excellent, excellent tie-in for our new friends at uh, Dr. Seuss. Uh, you may know last in last week's mailbag, which is uploading right now and will appear live any moment if you missed it. Uh, last week's mailbag, I was talking about how uh, Dr. Seuss, the Dr. Seuss people reached out to us and said that they love watching Kitten Academy and they wanted to send us some stuff. And they also wanted to know if they could share Kitten Academy with their friends and also um, uh, sort of do like a, a, a donation drive for the Danbury Animal Welfare Society. And of course we said that was awesome, that we love them too, and that they were welcome to do all those things. So we're, uh, we're helping them out with getting their, uh, their little, I guess they wanted to do sort of a rebroadcast of our stream 
for a little while, and we're, we're working with them on that, or whatever the plan might end up being in the end. It's not finalized yet. But in the meantime, they've sent us some stuff already for the kittens like they wanted to. And it's just heartwarming to know that they love watching us and the kittens. So uh, I hope, I, I think it would be a lot of fun, and I would hope that uh, I could ask them whether it would be okay for me to read one or more of the Dr. Seuss books on the stream to the kittens, because I love those stories. They're perfect stories for this age level of <laughs> kittens. Uh, these guys seem about ready for some Dr. Seuss. Uh, so I'll, I'll find out about that. I think that's a good idea. That would be a lot of fun. Okay, now we're on to actual mail letters. This one, interestingly, it seems to be a handwritten uh, envelope, but it is addressed to resident of P.O. Box 186. Um, yeah, so I don't know if there's like a mouse or something at the post office that lives in our post office box that this is actually for, or if it's for us, or if it's one of those things that, that looks like it was meant for us, but really is just sort of generic. It's going to be a surprise. Let's find out. I was very amused to find it was addressed to resident. Oh, actually, I, you know what? <laughs> this is super cute, but I am going to skip reading this on the air. Um, I will just say it appears to be a chick tract, which uh, some of you may be familiar with in the past. And that is it. So that's cute. Um, and it probably was hand addressed. So somebody put a lot of work into getting those out there. And I at least admire that level of uh, dedication. Okay, here we have a letter from Mr. And I assume, by the way, that it was for the mouse that lives in our post office box. So I'll be sure to get it back to them. Uh, here we have a letter from Elso Cat. And it's got a beautiful Labrador Retriever stamp and uh, this cute little drawing of a mouse on the back. What do you think of that, Beep? You like that mouse? I think you do. I think you want to try another treat because Belle ate yours, don't you? And you were really thinking about it, but it was too big for you. Let me break one of these in half. Oh, wait, here's a very tiny one. Look, it's a very tiny, it's a beep shaped treat, a beep sized treat. Look, right here. Actually, already broken in half. No, beeps. Gonna try to, are you trying to play with my phone or are you trying to cover that up? I can't tell which thing you're doing. Trying to cover it up. Look at that. No, I got to save this for later. It smells good. I hear Maggie climbing a screen in the sunroom right now. Okay. Oh, uh, I, some of you might be wondering uh, where is DJ? Because DJ is home this weekend, uh, but. She deserves to sleep in right now, I think, if anybody does. So I didn't bother to make her come down for the mailbag. Uh, <laughs> okay, here is a beautiful, beautiful, uh, looks like a, a pencil drawing of a cat with green eyes. Gorgeous. It says the artist assigned it Victoria Miller. And then inside it says, wow, remember us. Yes, we do. It says, Mr. Elso Cat and me, Mom, are watching Mailbox Day right now, 328.20. Note, uh, using me went better with Mom instead of I. I see. Okay, using me went better with Mom instead of I. Smiley face starting to know some of the names of the kitty kids. Want to start regularly with the soon coming Mom. You all can see what Mr. Also Cat has been up to, and Mr. Bonbon bon on Twitter. That's Mr. Also Cat is at Cat Elso. That's at C A T E L S O. Mr. Also Cat and me mom tried to watch a mailbag day and posted pics on Twitter. Tune in to see what happened. Big smile. I'll try to write more often, also to watch K A more. I really miss Eddie. I'll post a pic now on Twitter of Mr. Also Cat as mailbag is on. Love and light, Michelle and Mr. Elso Cat. Well, it is great to hear from you. You guys have been writing to us for a long time. And I don't know if uh, I would just uh, read, you know, someone uh, sort of pimping their Twitter that way if it were anybody else. But for you guys, uh, it's the least we can do. I mean, you definitely have been watching and writing to us for a very long time. That's cool. And I'll check out your Twitter, too. I don't know if I follow you. I know, I know you're there because I, I notice your name all the time. But... Now, I don't know if we actually checked on your Twitter feed, so maybe we should do that. Uh, thank you so much for writing, by the way. It's good to hear you are well. And here we have a letter addressed to, <laughs> this is to Mr. A and Dr. DJ. And on the back, it says, okay, but not necessary to read on stream. 
That's very generous of you. And it also says, my apologies for the cat food on the front. <laughs> Is that what you're after, buddy? Is there some cat food here on the front? Oh, I see. There's supposed to be a little dirty spot here. Very cute. Okay. Oh, wow. Inside we have a beautiful painting of a mom cat standing on a chair with a little kitten. Oh, kittens. I see there's a kitten climbing onto the chair with mom. But there's also a kitten here eating out of the plate on the table. And there's what I guess would be the dad cat probably sitting back here looking away from uh, the painting. So that is beautiful. Does it say who's there? Oh, it says back here. It's, the title of the art is Mischief in the Air. And it is by Louis Eugene Lambert, who apparently was a painter from 1835 to 1885. It is a gorgeous painting. My goodness, that's beautiful. And uh, really captured these kitties, too. It's, it's interesting to see something that's, you know, over 100 years old, and you still, you look at these, and you're like, those could be my kittens. They just they act the same. They look the same. So cute. Inside, it says, just a few words to say thank you for all you do, especially in these difficult times. The kittens and cats, the good humor and no sads, and the community that is gathered around Kitten Academy means so much to me. Best from Not That Kate on Discord. That's Not That C-A-I-T on Discord. Thank you so much for sending this and for picking out such a beautiful, lovely card for us. Not That Kate. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, well, that is all of our letters. And... Let's, uh, let's see what we've got in these packages here. I'm just going to start with what's right on top here. A drop shipment from Area Trend or whatever that might be. There's a pull tab. Let's see if this works. These things never work for me. He says, as it works perfectly for him. Okay, then. Or pretty well, anyway. Not perfectly, but well enough. Whoa. That is a strong catnip smell in there. My goodness. Oh, this must be the one. Uh, I got a note about this. Hang on, because um, the note said, oh, I, I think I hear kittens squeaking from all the way upstairs. Is that what I'm hearing? Oh, you know what it is? It's the kittens, DJ's got the stream on the TV upstairs and the kittens are squeaking upstairs on the TV. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Looks like everybody's calm, though. Well, well I'm sure DJ's up. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry. I got a little distracted there. So, uh, let's see. Lisa had sent me a note about this to expect, and this to come, and it said, Dino Ruth. So, this is a dino, credit of dino, dino Ruth, as far as I know. It is a bag of, yeah, it's the Yao Catnip Holiday Gift Bundle, which comes with a tiny bag of Yao Catnip, a lemon, and is this an apple or a tomato? It's an apple, it says, and a banana. So lemon, banana, and apple, uh, all from Dino Ruth. And did she say what she wanted us to do with it? No, all it says is sent Yao Catnip toys from Amazon, but wasn't given an option to include a note. Well, Dino Ruth, Thank you so much, and if you had intended this for someone in particular, let me know, but we can always find ways to use these Yao catnip toys. They are the best catnip toys. I mean, really, the kittens, the cats all go nuts for this stuff, and you can really smell it as soon as you open the bag. That is something. Dino Ruth, thank you so much. I, these things are they're the best. They really are the best. We can never get enough either because uh, the cats love them, but then they just, they, they just destroy them like this. I don't know if you guys can see on the stream, it's covered in little tooth marks already. It's got some spots that aren't looking so fresh anymore. Um, this is also Yao catnip. So, uh, like I said, we can we can always use more. They, they go through them. They really do. Thank you very, very much for that. And I'm certain you will let me know if you had something in mind for it. These kittens are all playing directly behind the camera. This is not helping anybody. And I'm sure DJ's got her hands too full to be the cameraman right now. Let me just take a look and see. Oh, she did. Somebody switched to the other camera. That's good. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, though. 
because uh, that might give us a better chance of seeing them. Back here playing. So there we go. Maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe not. They're all right there. It's silly. You guys are being silly. That's a crazy place for you to be playing. All right. Let's work our way down here. Next, we have a recycled Amazon Prime box that I believe is going to end up being from Lily Cat, even though it's not 100% her usual style. Let's find out. There is a lot of tape. Got that as evidence. Aha! I was right because inside. Well, I see the notes on the bottom. The note says for dabble. Well, I came just a tiny bit late, but we will get it to dabble. Don't you worry about that. Um, and it says the rest of the tinkerers will be sent to their homes. Excellent. So this is dabble's uh, lily cat blanket. Let's take a look. Oh, look how beautiful that is. These colors, I know that that camera is not going to do justice to these colors. They are, uh, how do I even describe them? They give me a very sort of retro feeling because they're, they're not, um, they're sort of like washed out pastels, kind of. But then you've got this little bit of the, the darker lavender in here and this, uh, this teal. It's really beautiful. I, I love the way it comes together. I really don't know how to, to do it justice descriptively, but it's, as always, one of your blankets, is so, they're so soft. I have no idea how you managed to, to make these for every graduate of the Kitten Academy, but I know they are highly prized. That is just so pretty. Wow. Thank you very much, Lily Cat. And like I said, uh, we already, I realized when they came and they picked up Dabble and Tink yesterday, so this would have been just in time if we stuck to the original adoption schedule. But they came and picked up Dabble and Tink yesterday uh, for good reason, I think. Um, they wanted to, to sort of get here before DJ did, and that makes sense. But um, I realize now that after they took Dabble and Tink, um, I did not give them Tink's uh, handmade bunny rabbit either. It's upstairs still in her room. So we've already got some stuff we're going to have to get to them. We'll find a way to do it uh, safely, so we'll probably, you know, take this stuff and make sure it's sterilized and let it sit for a while after it's boxed up, and then we'll get it probably in the mail to them, I think, would be the way to do it. But at any rate, uh, my apologies to the strand behind it, I'm sure Dabble and Tink's adopters are watching and know what's up, and I don't know what I just did. I don't know what I just did in your note. Oh, it went back in. Okay, I want to put it on the top so that I don't miss it. I also want to label this box. It's so sweet of you to knit these for everybody. I just, it's, it's really precious. And I know, as you know, that they are highly prized. Uh, so... We will be certain that this gets to dabble along with anything else that we missed for her. Oops, well, I thought I could throw that treat to her, but then Foggy ran away just as I was throwing it. Okay, fair enough, kid. Hmm. Well, 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 you only got two more boxes here. I was thinking about trying to switch the camera around and, and change where we're doing this from, but two more boxes. We'll just wrap it up. I know I really, 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 really want to go check on Gabby and her kids this morning, too. So uh, we've got to make sure that, I mean, I've got to get through this. Got to, it makes it sound like such an imposition, which it is not. Uh, oh, look how sweet this is. Thank you, guys. This says... Hello, Chris and Dr. DJ. It's been a few months. Time to restock a little bit from Zenathon and Raylene. Thank you very, very much. Zenathon and Raylene. Um, this is Royal Queen Mother and Baby Cat. And we also have some Mother and Baby Cat wet. And this is the stuff that we do typically feed to uh, our mom cats, historically speaking. And lately, too, we've been feeding it to them, even though we've been trying to switch off to Fancy Feast all the time for everybody. 
uh, especially with Gabby right now. We're giving her this. I gave her some of this this morning mixed with fancy feast. I've been feeding this to her all along because it's just it's really more important for her to eat something that she will eat and she will eat this rather than for us to try to get her on the high protein, low carb diet that our vet recommends. We can switch her over to that later on. It's definitely more important that she be eating. These guys have also gone through a period of eating this, uh, but I think maybe I've just weaned them off of it. There's still half a bowl of the mom and baby cat in there, but we're working on switching off. So we can definitely use this. Thank you so, so much for sending it. That is really thoughtful of you. I appreciate it. I know you're always asking me online uh, if there's anything we need, and I really appreciate it. Uh, I know there's a, there's a few folks that, have, that are doing that for us on a regular basis. But anything you need, I, it just, it's so sweet that you guys are all looking out for us right now. Uh, it, it means a lot to me. And Zenicon, Raven, thank you guys so much for sending some spare food. I'm just going to slide it over here so I can put it with the rest of the spare food after mailbag. Okay, and one last box, everybody. Here we are. Let's see what we got. Oh, now this is something interesting. Oh, oh, hey, I was just talking about our friends at Dr. Seuss, and this appears to be something else from them. Sold it. Do not separate. Sold as a set. Okay. Uh oh, now I'm going to embarrass myself because I won't recognize all the Dr. Seuss characters that I ought to. This one's clearly the Grinch. We all know the Grinch. It says the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. I mean, he's got a little bit of a beanbag butt, so maybe he can sit up. There we go. That's great. And then this is also the, the uh, dog reindeer that was in the Grinch. You guys remember that. There we go. More little Grinchy things. Very cute. Oh, these will be cute to see with the kittens. I'm sure they will play with them. And a little, uh, I'd say actually less creepy than our creepy reindeer that we've had around the kittens for so long. I heard something out there banging around. Must have been one of the cats. Okay, what else? They sent more, though. There's even more in here from the Dr. Seuss folks. Now, these... I know these, it says, whoop, these are uh, things, but you know, I don't, I don't remember specifically thing number one, thing number two. It's been so long since I've read these. Which story are these from? Because I can picture them. Now I've got to go back and find out. I've got to look all this up. And look, they're actually numbered just like in the story. Thing two, I want to say these, they, they showed up in, uh, um, I want to say they were in Hop on Pop, which was my favorite way back in the day. But it's been such a long time. I love that it's, oh, I got to put them in order for you guys. Look at that. Thing one, thing two. They are super cute, though, and just seeing them makes me super nostalgic. We also have one other thing in here from Dr. Seuss. Let's see here. And I know people are probably yelling at me on the chat to tell me what I'm not remembering. Oh, this looks like a sticker roll, a big sticker roll. Whoa, for Seuss decorating. It's a bunch of trees in the Dr. Seuss style. How cool is that? Wow, I, I don't, I'm gonna have to figure out how we can put these around. I may have to like um, find a cardboard thing that we can do with them. Those are big and really cool. I guess I gotta stand them up though, right? All right, we'll find a way. We will find a way. Very cool. There's some extra emoji stickers on the back too. Well, you guys at Dr. Seuss, I gotta say once again, thank you so much. We are fans of yours just as much as you are fans of ours. And uh, like I said, I mentioned earlier in the mailbag, we're working with them to try to come up with uh, the right way um, to do a little bit of a, I guess almost cross promotion with them. So really fun. It's just, it's so, it's so cool to hear that they have been fans of ours. You know, it's uh, super special. And they were so nice in reaching out to us to ask if there was some way that they could help promote Kitten Academy, which it means a lot to me. So I'm, I'm really excited. I'm also excited to see the kittens play with these toys now because they are uh, big for the kittens. I think the kittens are
you're going to really have a fun time with that. So uh, I might I might put them in some catnip first to just make them a little more fun, and then we'll deploy them around the room. Because that seems like the right way to do it, doesn't it? And we've got a big old bucket of catnip uh, right around the corner. I see you looking at me, Custard. I see that. I think that's a good idea. All right, that's exactly what we'll do. And look, we made it, uh, we got all of everything opened up. We got everything checked out. I wanna say again, thank you so much to everybody that sent everything. Uh, it all means a lot to us. It's very, very kind of you to take care of us and to take care of the kittens this way. It, it really means a lot. So uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, with that said, I'm gonna get right up and get moving. I gotta get all this stuff put away where it belongs. I gotta get these guys into some catnip uh, so that the kittens will love them. And um, then I've got to go check on Gabby upstairs and her four new kittens that are so cute. So that is the plan. All right. Thanks again, everybody. You guys can sit there with your buddies, the Grinch, and the, uh, the dog. Does, the, does he have a name? I don't, know, I don't remember if he had a name or not. Also, I'm not familiar with all of the uh, recent Dr. Seuss lore, you know, like the, the new movies that have come out and stuff. I, those, I have to admit, I haven't seen. I'm just a, I'm just a classic. You know, I'm the hipster uh, Dr. Seuss fan, you know, before he was cool. Actually, I don't think there was ever a time before he was cool. That doesn't make sense. Okay. Uh, this I'm going to have to put away somewhere else since I'm going to use this box to discard. Take this with me right now. These can go downstairs. And this I will put in here for the moment. It's kind of a longer term plan for that. Okay. All right, I gotta work all this out. I'll figure it out, everybody. Here, here, here. DJ licking those kittens upstairs? I hope she is. She's supposed to lick the kittens so that she knows their names. That's how you figure it out. If you are a kitten expert like DJ, you know that if you need to determine the name of a kitten, you have to lick it. That's how it works. Oh boy, I think these Grinch toys might be a little too big to fit in our catnip bucket. I need a bigger cabinet bucket for a while. What am I going to do about that? I might be able to squeeze the things in there. Thing one and thing two. Thing one and thing two. All right, you guys get in there together. I'm going to have to get the Grinch in a separate. good place to start. We'll, we'll figure out the Grinch and his doggy and get them on the screen and all that stuff. We'll do, we'll do all that. It's going to take a while, that's all. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> okay. All the faculty is dying to come into this room, and uh, just about got this stuff put away already. I'll tell you what, those we'll follow the protocol. Let me wrap it up, and then we'll wrap it up. Hang on. Are 
evil. You know, how am I going to... i got to find a way to clean that up, too. Okay, we'll get to it. One thing at a time. Jeez, yours has food. There we go. Smuggy, are you taking my coffee now? Are you looking for kittens or are you looking for trouble? I think you're going to find both in here if you're not careful. Okay, now, now I'm set. Uh, we're going to move you guys back in the room and close it up. But first, we need to end this archive. Um, so thank you again for joining us for Mailbag. <sighs> yes, Smuggy. And uh, I'm sorry the kittens didn't cooperate the way they ought to have, but that's all right. Oh, now you want to come over here and say hi to Smuggy? Hi. That's very bold, Beeper. Oh, Clax just found that treat that nobody would eat and is eating it right now. I guess you can probably see that on the other camera a little bit. I also see our cameras aren't happy. All right, well, let's, uh, let's wrap this up. Thanks again for uh, watching us on the archive of the mailbag if you are, or live if you are live. Uh, if you are watching live, we're not going anywhere, so don't go anywhere. But if you're watching on the archive, you can go take a look through the Kitten Academy live stream and see what's going on right now. All right.